What is your allegory for the title of the book? I have many theories, including uh, the geography of Kerala, but I'm curious why you chose the title. To me, to me, it has it's an ode to your Christianity and your faith. I mean, the day it hit me the most, because I saw it in many places, is when the day Big Amachi dies and she has a bath before her bed and, and she talks about, you know, this water that is your covenant with you, with your soil. And, you know, even when we spin sin, then we're born again day after day through this water. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it comes through in so many ways, the title of your book throughout the story, but what, did you have a central theme? Did you come up with the name of the book afterwards? It was afterwards. Uh, I had a working title before that. I think that um, I, I have always believed that titles should be a bit mysterious. That you should, you know, uh, and and the and the author doesn't necessarily have the have the explanation. So my theory is that of writing in general is that you know the writer provides the words, the reader provides their imagination, and somewhere in middle space in the reader's head is this unique fictional mental movie is happening. And that movie is very different from one reader to another. Each one has their own movie. Absolutely. You know, which is why when you go to the movie version of the book, then you're always disappointed because what you had in mind. But for the same reason, I think titles can echo in different ways for different readers. Um, I actually wasn't thinking formally of you know Christianity when I use the word covenant because it's a very much an Old Testament term, so it's very much in the Jewish and, you know, anywhere else. Um, and, and that element of water, you know, renewing in water, baptizing water, is true of um, Christianity, but it's also true of, you know, many other things. You wash your feet before you go in. Mm -hmm. At one level, covenant also represented this family's covenant to keep this secret. condition secret, you know, so they were Levels and levels of what covenant could have meant, you know. And I think a reader can take their pick. I don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, later in the book, when Mariama goes to college and Big Amachi says to her, I'm always with you even when I'm long gone, you carry my name. This made me stop and think because, you know, we all have a culture in every culture of naming our children after our uh, ancestors. And I always thought of it as kind of like vanity and in many cases, patriarchy. But now I was, I read that and I thought, huh, maybe it's got to do with blessings that you yeah. always then carry the blessings of, you know, your grandparents or great grandparents. And I thought, I mean, how do you think about it? It's interesting. Until you said that, I never quite thought of it that way. You know, I, I thought it's vanity as well, you know, yeah, tradition or, you know, but, uh, you know, I carry my grandfather's name and, you know, I never thought about this, but. Um, you know, in a way, it's a very symbolic way of carrying this legacy forward. Yeah. Um, I never thought about that. So, you know, very often the readers give me more credit for. <laughs> but like you said, that. right, like we come to it with our views of life. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the stories we've told ourselves. And sometimes we see things that we want to see. And they're not incorrect. I mean, I've been sent master's thesis by people expounding <laughs> on, the, on, on the previous book, Cutting for Stone, on what my theme was, what my political, <laughs> you know, and I always think, wow, if only I had that kind of <laughs> vision and all that. But it's not incorrect. I mean, I don't ever argue with that because if the reader took away that, then that's true for them. Yeah. It's not for me to say that it's not there. You know, I can only say that I my goal is always very simple. A good story, well told. That's mm. what I'm talking for. And everything else that happens in the process is a byproduct of that that thing, you know. If yeah. I'm trying to push to get push forward a political theme, then it becomes a polemic, it becomes, you know, too much expository writing and you lose the reader. <laughs>